What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stacy, we're back in the world of Fallout 4. We're back here at the Abernathy Farm. Gonna turn this in. Hopefully, make some friends. I've up, got that Blake? locket back for you. You serious? Holy shit, dude! That's great news. Son of a bitch just jumped. I'm be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free Good. to use our workshop. Least we can do. Good. I like people being lean. What's up, girl? How you doing? I heard you gonna give me a deal. You told me what you did for us, for Mary. No problem. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me yeah. know if there's anything you want to take a look at. Uh, well, let's see what you got, yeah, lady. Right. Uh, 255 caps. That's not gonna give me much room, uh, but I will go ahead and take it all. Um, that puts us at what 232 plus four. Uh, that's what uh, four. 15, so 19, right? I think that's, unless my mass off, which wouldn't surprise me. Hello, perfect, okay. All right, what do you have that I might want? Do you have anything, weapons, apparel? Nope, aid. Um, I will take your medics on general principle. Um, really don't want your junk. So um, we're gonna go ahead and give you all of these. Uh, 165 left, so we're just gonna set that at 160 no five is 70 30 uh so 35 plus 55 so we'll, we'll we'll make that what is 35 plus 55 that's 80 90 i think yeah perfect okay accept confirm thank you much all right just took pretty much everything she could give us, which sadly wasn't much, but either way, it's something. All right, so we're going to go get another one of the Grognak, uh, what do you call them? The Grognak uh, comics. Where we want to be is like right around here. Uh, we don't have General Atomics Factory discovered, so we're going to go to Combat Zone. That'll get us close. Uh, and then from there, we should be able to walk to where we're, where we're wanting to get. I'm looking at it on my map here, and uh, this will be an interesting little little romp. Because what we're actually looking for is technically an unmarked location. It's interesting that people are able to find some of this stuff. I mean, I guess when you have, you know, what, 500,000 people playing a game and all of them reporting back, you're going to find, you know, every little pebble everywhere. But can you imagine having to find some of this stuff on your own without any help or assistance? I mean... You're going to find a lot of stuff as you roam around Fallout. I mean, that's just, that's kind of like the nature of the game. But at a certain point in time, it's like, God dang, man. How the fuck was I supposed to know that was there? All right. So we want to set our waypoint to right about here. There we go. Right up here on the left. Now, it is daytime. And I have I have confirmed, at least according to the internet. Wait, where's my little waypoint? Right there. I have confirmed, at least according to the internet. Whoa to the internet that uh, stealthing in the daytime is exponentially harder. Duh, no shit, right? Yeah, we're not going that way. That turret's gonna have like perfect angle on me. So that's that's not gonna work. Oh Jesus, this doesn't look good either. What the fuck is this place? Uh, Slim? Well, Slim doesn't look like he's a bad guy, so we'll go ahead and save real fast. We may be able to talk to Slim. What's up, Slim? How you doing, buddy? Looking at the score? I got what you need. Really? Sure. Uppers, downers, whatever you're looking for. Okay. Um Probably one in a deck doll. That's that's actually a pretty good thing. And god dang, that's expensive. Uh we will go ahead and take one of those. Um He doesn't have any weapons that I care about. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of all of our weapons, though, that we have. Because, you know, we don't need them. Might as well save ourselves some cash, right? Alright, so we'll do that first off. Um, we don't really need the purified water. I don't really need the stim packs, honestly, I don't think. How much do we have for stim packs? Where are we at on them? Uh, we still got 25, so I'm not too terribly worried. So let's, let's go ahead and get rid of the ammo. Uh, which we have, as you can tell, plenty of. Uh, so I think I will actually take some of his Rataways. So we'll just take, uh, we'll take two. There we go. And then we'll sell him all of that. Sell him all that, that, that. How much you, really? You're only going to give me 30 bucks for a mini nuke? You're a dickbag. 
And yes, I'm aware if I put my suit on, it would come out much better. I just honestly don't care. The percentage difference is so small, in my opinion, it's not even worth messing with. I know some of you guys will have a strong difference of opinion. That's fine. If you want to spend the time doing it, you are more than welcome to. All right, I think that'll work. That'll work. We're only paying him 29 bucks for quite a few different things. All right. We are going to go ahead and blow that one addict all that we just bought. Because uh, if you can see right here under stats, where is it? See the little tongues lolling out. So let's get rid of the addiction real quick. Addict all, boom. We go back to stats. We're no longer tongue lolling out. Good times, good times. All right. Oh, we can actually make our chems there if we so chose. Um. Oh, cool. Railroad symbol. I guess that's to maybe highlight him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, we are going to get back to doing the railway quest here pretty quickly. Uh, that's one of the places that we haven't done. But I'm kind of enjoying, like, pimping out my character a little bit, I guess. Does that make sense? Because uh, in our last playthrough, I didn't do any research online at all. Like, everything was just straight off the cuff, just playing for shits and giggles. Uh, whereas in this version, um, I've done a lot of research. Well, not a lot of research, but compared to the other one, I did a lot of research. All right, we're going to just try and get across here. Oh, dear God. We're taking some rats. All right here should work. And we're up. Go ahead and recrouch. All right, so we're looking for a house that's crushed by a bus, basically. Well, looky there. I believe this is the one we're looking for. So it should be in this house somewhere near a mattress or something. So anyways, yeah, I, I am enjoying this playthrough because I get to kind of do a little bit of research, kind of maximize my character's potential, or at least I think so. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to go to the witchcraft place. I'm holding off on that one for now because I think I have to fight a death claw in there. And at the moment, we that's just not happening. It, it doesn't matter if I want to do it or not. It's just not happening. Uh, and there's Grognak. There we go. Boom. Let's go ahead and take that. All right, so that's going to bump us up inventory. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, we'll stand up real quick to clear it. Go ahead. Wow, he's got some pretty cool art in here. I wouldn't mind yanking some of these off the walls. All right, so we go to stats. We go to perks. You can see we have Barbarian 5. That puts us at 25% uh, bonus damage with melees and unarmed attacks. Not too freaking shabby. Not too... Wait, why is it going down like that? Oh, I guess it's to show you kind of what it does. Okay, gotcha. I was a little worried. I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Definitely did not want to be reducing the effectiveness of that. All right. Let's see if we can't locate the next one. All right. So we are heading to a middle school, supposedly over here. Uh, not to pick up Solar's girlfriend. No, 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 no. We're, uh, we're looking for apparently a vault that's located in the basement of... Uh, of this, uh, this school. Oh, while we're walking, uh, I do want to point out um, that I'm going to be doing a upgrade uh, to my hardware probably in the next week or two. Uh, for those of you guys who've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have a tendency to scream. And uh, for those of you guys who wear headphones, uh, you'll also know that sometimes that makes the ears bleed a little bit. Well, the reason for that is um, I don't have any good solid audio hardware i have audio software but the problem is post-processing audio hardware gets really difficult and basically i kind of need a normalizer and an equalizer and i need to compress the audio and there's a there's a bunch of technical jargon but basically what the hardware i need to do basically it goes through and it takes my highs and it basically puts a cap on it so like let's say if i scream and it goes up to and I'm just throwing this number out. Let's just say 200 decibels, which it doesn't, but let's say it did. Um, the audio, audio hardware would cap the maximum amount on that volume at, say, 50. So the loudest I would ever get would be, like, a little louder than this. Where is it? Oh, God. That's a lot of guys. They're shooting at me. Yep, they see me. Ow, 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 ow. 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 All right, dog. You got goggles on. You're so cute. Unfortunately, you're dead now. As is your buddy. Is that a bomb? Why can't I attack? Okay, he's dead. Not quite sure why he chose to attack me, but okay. I see you, buddy. 
Is that one or two? Just one? So anyways, uh, I'm gonna be buying about $350 worth of hardware that's gonna allow me to basically do that live. Because the problem that I run into is when I do it software-wise, uh, when you make those edits, it brings your ups down, but unfortunately it also brings your downs up, which is not something we wanna do. Because it basically turns some of my background noise, which at the moment isn't that bad, into something that's really noticeable. So basically I have to go through an entire hour long video and update each individual piece as we're going through, which is doable if I have a billion hours in the day. Since I don't, it's way easier to just have an automated process. So it's gonna take me a little while because I'm basically buying a new microphone. Um, I have a USB condenser mic. I'm gonna be buying a XLR condenser mic and I'm, being, I'm gonna be buying a uh, basically a mixer. And we'll be doing pre-processing edits to it. It's gonna take a little while for me to get it perfect, probably three or four days. Um, but when it's all said and done, my audio quality will be shooting up like 20,000%. So uh, I'll sound better. Um, there won't be as loud of noises. I mean, the, the noises are still gonna be there, but they're not gonna be as loud, uh, painfully loud. So hopefully it'll be something that you guys will like and will uh, appreciate. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it's something that I'm, I've been looking forward to doing for a while. I've been trying to find a way to do it with software wise, but the problem with doing it with software is um, it, it, it takes CPU cycles and uh, you have to buy all this extra software. And basically you have to run Adobe Audition or, which is what I would be using or Audacity. Um, and then you have to do a line in, line out type deal. And it's, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. So hopefully this will fix it because if it doesn't, I just paid $300 for nothing, which I haven't yet, but I will be, I will be, I'll be rather upset. I'll be rather upset. That's, that's putting it rather mildly too. All right. I do believe this is what we are looking for down here. Open sesame. So I think this is going to be our our sixth grognack. Yeah. So at this point we're going to be doing 30% crits, which good god, dude. See, I don't know if uh, sneak attacks are automatically bonus crits, but can you imagine a 4.5x sneak attack with a crit? I'm going to be doing somewhere around the neighborhood of like 300 damage. That's going to be ridiculous. Oh. They left the crippled dude behind. That's fucked up, man. That's some fucked up shit. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure vaults are not supposed to be open when I come running through. Oh, dear God. Yeah, this isn't going to work. This is not going to work at all. I'm hoping he can't see me out here. That's a legendary gunner, too. That's really not good. All right, let's turn super sneak on. Now our goal is to get inside. I think if I can get inside and jump off the rail to the left or the right, we'll be doing fine. Okay, so we have one legendary. And it looks like two normals. Yeah, I, I think maybe you'll just see me here. If so, I'm just gonna crit that guy right off the bat. I don't have a stealth boy by chance, do I? I don't think I do. Am I under aid? I am, okay. Nope. No stealth boy. We haven't leveled up yet, have we? Nope. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Jump. Go ahead and do a quick save. Can I not get in? Uh-oh. Hello. Mm -hmm. Somebody walk down this road, please. Oh, God. They're so close. God dang it. Easy. 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 Oh god. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Because I can't jump off yet. God, I made it. I cannot fucking believe we made it. Are right, we saving? Jesus Christ, dude. That was fucking ridiculous. All right, we know we've got a guy literally right there. There she is. Can I get within range to tag her? I want the legendary right there. There we go. Oh, that was bad. We're dead. Yep. That did not work out at all. Like I was hoping for. Okay. Alright, good Good to know. Good to know. That was bad times right there. Alright, so we tried to be nice about it. We tried to be nice. So now, that was... <laughs> This is, this is going to turn into like a fucked up advertisement for doing drugs. Um, so we, we, we did it nice. Now we're going to do it raw. Which means we're going to fucking... We're going to get coked out of our minds and we're going to try it again. Um, don't we have like some kind of amazing... Is it, God, that's fucking blinding. I can't see shit. Psycho buff. I can't even see what it does. That's damage plus 20%. Okay, yeah. <sighs> okay, let's blow Medex and then that. There's Medex. And then Psycho Buff. And then Psycho. Can I blow both of those back to back, I wonder? Probably not. I'm thinking probably not. Fucking cow! Well, I just stabbed her. She's... Wow. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Alright, so... Didn't quite get to a point where I could ta take the legendary, which is the one I think I need to kill first. Yeah, I could just throw a grenade up there, maybe. Alright, we'll try this again. Jesus. Oh, and I just realized, of course, not full health. Might want to do that. It might make all the difference in the world, so to speak. Alright, I can see her now. Wait till we're full health. Wait for it. Wait for it. Can I kill that one over there? I wonder. I wonder if this will work. Let's try. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, move! Yeah, that's that's not gonna work either. So yeah, these guys are fucking mean, dude! A 4.5x crit with a crit not doing it. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go ahead and heal back up again. We'll get it, don't worry. We'll get it. Alright. Wait for it. Go ahead and resave here. That way we don't have to do this part again. All this for 5% extra melee crit damage, you know? It's kind of fucked up that they're all here backed up like this. How about that one? Okay, he's just out of range. Kind of sucks that he is just out of range. Okay, so he's in range. I wonder how many shots I have to give. Because I, I know I can take her out pretty easy. Alright, here we go. That's Medex. Is it? Oh, son of a bitch. No. All right, where's our inventory? Aid. Is it buff jet? No. It's, uh, 
I think we did just blow Mad Axe. Okay, so Psycho Buff. And then Jet. We'll blow Jet as well. Um, that's not good. Move. That's not good at all. I think it's fucking us up. Yeah. I have to kill the gun first. Because the the gun's literally just gonna be what's gonna kill us. Cause that's that's the that's the <laughs> That's the, the, the ace in the hole. It doesn't do an insane amount of damage, but it does add up. And that's the thing that we're gonna have to kill first. So I am tempted to just throw a fucking grenade up there and just blow the shit out of them. But I'm pretty sure that's not gonna not gonna kill them all. I, I wish I could get like close enough to take that dude over there out, but there's no way to get over there without being detected. So I think we're gonna try and just take out the uh, the machine. So all right, let's try it again. Inventory, uh, aid. Let's go with Psycho Jet again, or sorry, Psycho first Medex, and then Psycho Buff, and then Jet, and. <laughs> Wait for it. That ought to do it. Okay, that blew up. Ow. Okay, hang on. Wow, he's fucked up. Drop his weapon. Okay, get her. Okay. Okay, run. Run. Oh, fuck me, dude. God dang it. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Corn, carrot, crispy squirrel bits, dirty water, fancy lads. Oh, uh, uh, fuck me. Grilled rad roach. Uh, hopefully some of that will give us some more health going up quickly. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. Jesus Christ, that was nasty. Ain't nothing to fire at. I'm hidden now, bitch. I disappeared. I used my predator skills. That was awful. I was stoned out of my mind and still couldn't do that one. These guys have to be pretty fucking close to my level then. So, you know, mid to high level. Not that I'm high level or anything, but, you know. Okay. Lock and lock. Shit. You're a good bag. All right, you're fucked, bitch. God, she mutated again? <laughs> Fucking stab his ass! God dang, man! Holy fucking shit. All right, what do you got on you? Of course, it's a pistol. A pistol that I don't fucking need. Oh, the angry. All right, that's fine. We're good. Jesus Christ, this place was nasty. Um, I'll leave the clean black suit. I don't think we need it. I will take that though. Fucking A. Well, we, we did take some, some rather nasty damage there. Um, okay, so... We gotta look around and see if we can't find the Overseer's room. Because that's where our Grognak the Barbarian, um, thing is. I thought this would be the Overseer's office, but apparently not. Because I don't see the grognak thing, do you guys? Nope. Um, Alright, let's read the terminal. We haven't been here before. 
Press release. For immediate release, vault tag subsidized enrollment for maiden families. Malden families. In response to a growing national concern for the safety of our children in the event of nuclear attack, vault tag officials have cooperated with local government in Malden, Massachusetts to provide subsidized enrollment fees for any family wishing to sign up for residency in Vault 75. The newly opened vault is attached directly to the Malden's elementary school, ensuring a swift evacuation should an attack come uh, during class time. Safeguarding the future has always been our priority, said vault tech spokesperson. The opening of Vault 75 gives us all extra peace in mind. Okay, gotcha. Uh, vault tech has authorized special discounts and subsidies. Uh, one or more enrolled family members or children under the age of 15 enrolled children attending public school within the township of Mount Mass. Please note, the Vault 75 also individuals. Okay, so basically it's their families and the kids. Uh, protocols. Upon activation of Vault 75, all residents must be subject to standard admission protocols, details of which can be found in the Vault tech personnel handbook. Once residents have been verified and sanitized, chilled, wait, Children under the age of 17 are to be taken to the atrium area. They will meet with the overseer who will provide orientation. All other residents will be taken to the holding area to wait their briefing from the head of security. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so it looks like they took Stephen available. I don't understand. Stephen, Ashley, David didn't. Michael didn't. Caleb, Joey. What was wrong with... Okay, I don't understand why some of them made it and some of them didn't. Okay, that's interesting. So did they, like, not survive the initial... Okay. Oh, wow. There's a... So it's a vault that goes down even deeper than this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is gonna suck, anus. I can tell already. Oh, man. Not looking forward to this. Uh, okay. Whoop. You coming in here, bro? Alright, how many do we have? Two. Okay, you get a little closer, bro. Alright, he's down. That worked out well. I'll let you keep that. Actually, that chest piece is better than what we're wearing, isn't it? Nope, never mind. It was the pipe pistol. The pipe pistol. The pipe pistol. God dang it! I cannot talk today. I blame the sickness. All right, nothing here. Okay, what is that lump of coal? feather duster? Yeah, you can keep your fucking feather duster. I ain't doing no cleaning in the apocalypse. Shit's already fucked up. I ain't, I ain't unfucking it. I'm talking to the wrong dude. Never got a card. All right, so I need the lab access card. Roger that. The fuck is this thing? Um, looks like we got a camera up there. Not looking forward to seeing what the hell that is. Can I not take that out? Apparently not. Okay, they've got a purified water floating in the sky here. Using witchcraft, all right. Okay, we got one. Oh. Huh? Oh! Fuck me sideways! Alright, he's disarmed. Thank God. Okay, we're okay. Jesus Christ. He's down. What do we got in here? New cola. Yep, taking all that. And keep the rest of that shit. Whoa! Wait, why is he handcuffed in here? The question is, is the vault handcuff him? Or did the raiders handcuff him? That's a good question. I guess we'll find out as we get a little further in here. I don't care about your toaster. Alright, Molotov cocktail. Alright, waiting on it. <laughs> Awful nice of them to forget about me. Alright, we'll slow it down a little bit. Okay, I don't know what's over there to the to the left. But we're gonna hug the right over here. Oh wow, this place is definitely seen some better days. 
I've seen better days, stone stars of many plains. I can't tell if that guy's above me or below me. He may have gone in there. I think he's above me, honestly. We got one there. Yep, there's one right there. Okay, we're good. Shit. Last mistake. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna hide in here. Hopefully you'll forget about me here in a second. And if not, well, it'll get interesting. Yeah, I can't hit him from here. That's alright. I'm perfectly happy just sitting here invisible. No, you're not. You're just sitting there staring at me, Dick Bagenstein. <sighs> okay. I don't even know how to get up there. Alright, we're good. What? Oh, fuck. These guys in the fucking hills are bullshit, man. Hi! How are you? Not using my crit on this guy. Okay, it's dark over here. That's gonna help me and hurt them, which is fine by me. Okay, we got two adult dead bodies over here, which is kind of creepy, because I don't think they were killed by the bandits here, because they've been dead for a long time. This dude didn't even get out of his damn suit. His super suit?! Actually, that's that's not a super suit at all. In fact, that's a that's a that's a nerd suit. Which, if you're, I mean, I guess if you're a nerd, that's a super suit. But in reality, you know, you can't fight crime dressed like that, unless you're British, and you know, that's just because the British just said fuck the laws of physics. All right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The fuck is going on here? Hey, buddy. How are you? Could you turn around for me? I'd appreciate it. Go ahead. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know how I'm going to make that jump. <laughs> this is going to suck. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to take him out through vats. Need you to turn around. Turn around. Shit. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Fuck it. So that's not gonna work. Okay. Guess we'll try another way. The fuck does this go? Jesus. Okay, so this is the other side of that door. Alright, fair enough. Sorry, thought I heard something. Kind of creeped me out. Hey, he's got a stem pack! I will take that. You apparently did not use it in your time of need. So I will use it in mine, if that's okay with you. Ooh, hello. Switching to Super Sleuth. Not to be confused with Super Suit. Okay, he's way out of the way. Bye, biatch. I don't like these people. They are taking ridiculous amounts of damage. I don't like that. It makes my life very hard. Oh, he's coming in. Okay, fair enough. You are a creepy looking motherfucker, dude. 
And I am about to fuck your shit up! That's right, you're down. And we gotta level up. Okay, I'm happy with that. Why can't I move? Okay, what the fuck is going on? Stop it! Okay, that was weird. Yeah, it was like during the level up process, my character's uh, turning just stopped working for some reason. It's like, okay. You're gonna be like that. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, this is weird. It's like there's... I guess this is like the testing chamber or whatnot? The fuck is this place? Alright, let's stand up real quick. Uh, open up our level up. Alright, so again, can't do sneak yet. Can't do ninja. Can't do blitz. Alright, so we can't do chemist. No reason to even bother with that for now. Uh, can't do medic anymore. Okay, fair enough. Uh... And we, we, we can't do any more sneaking either. Uh, can't... Wow! Oddly enough, we can't do big leagues. I'm kind of surprised with that. So, that leaves us with uh, blacksmith that we can't do. So, I guess we're doing armor. Which, I guess, makes sense. Or we can do demolitions expert. We're doing demolition expert. 25% damage increase? Yes, please! Okay, that'll work. Because uh, explosives are something that we need and that we use very frequently. Uh, at the moment, we don't really have that big a need, honestly, when it comes to uh, changing things. Oh, what the fuck is this? What in the ever-loving shit? Combat simulation terminal? What the fuck? Topped y'all. Completion time, 25 seconds. Injector, 38 seconds. Um, no. I do not want to restart the course. Thank you very much. That's all I need. I will take a quick look at the course, though. But I, I do not plan on, on, on doing the course. That seems silly to me. What the? Hello! Oh my god. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, well, I'm glad... I don't know what the fuck he was doing in here, but, um... That could have gone a lot worse, honestly. So, I am not unhappy with that. Wow! Psycho buff lasted that long? Jesus, dude. That thing lasted forever. Okay, so now we have the lab key. So that door that we couldn't get through, we now can. Is there anything back here, actually? Um... I don't think so. Oh, looks like somebody was chilling back here, though. Unlock a wooden crate. Yeah, we still haven't found the overseer's room, which That's we have it. to do. Yeah, I will take that. We have to find the overseer's room to uh, find the uh, the costume. All right, hang on, sorry. Sorry about that. The air conditioner kicked on. Yes, we run the air conditioner in February. That's a Texas thing. So I had to get the door shut so it wasn't quite as loud. I apologize. All right, moving on. So we've explored everything over here. Um, they got their nice little armory set up here. I don't, actually don't know if that was their armory or if it was the other people's armory. All right, so this is All Saying Watch Step. We haven't been back here in the back left yet. Um, what the fuck is... Surprise? Holy shit! You are the most unobservant fucking piece of shit I have ever seen. You deserve to die in a bathroom. I don't know how I killed you from over there. Don't care. Alright. Um, oh, somebody told me about these mirrors. I forget who. I apologize for not giving you your shout out. Apparently the mirrors will allow you to uh, sometimes find stim packs and things like that. So, good to know. Alright, let's head back upstairs see if we can't find this... Uh, this laboratory. Still need to find the overseer's office because that's where the... Uh, the costume is. Uh, this, I think, is what we were... Yeah, we can go through now. Okay. Can we go over here? Is this a screening process? There we go. Alright. Whoa! Did I kill these guys? I'm guessing I did. Um... Is this back at the entrance? Yeah, we've already gone through here. Okay. Damn it. The fuck is the overseer's base? That's the atrium. What do we have back here? 
Have I looted this? Nope. Is there one over here? Negative. What's in here? Um. Whoa. Oh, we got a gunner over there. Alright, switching to stealth mode. Already killed their commander, so... Come on. That was it. That'll work. Thought there were two of them. There was. Got him. And we entered the room without entering the room, which I think is amazing. We just stealthed in here, bitches. All right. I'm not quite sure why my mouse is fucking up. I don't know if it's me or the game. Hard to tell sometimes. All right, we have got to be getting close to the overseer's office. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Holy fuck, dude, she surprised me, and I think I surprised her, and... Jesus Christ! Hey, there's a bobblehead here. Hell yeah. Always be prepared to explain the hows and the whys. Okay, get one extra guess when hacking terminals. Nice. Thank you for the, uh... Oh, blue baseball bat! What's it do? 25% more damage? Now, is that the question I have? Is that shown in the damage meter on it or no? That's an interesting question because I don't, I don't know. If it's shown on the damage meter, then it's not all that great. If it's not, then it's amazing. Uh, it probably is shown, which makes it probably garbage, but oh well. Okay, so this is them watching that. Is there a Grognag costume or comic here? I'm not seeing one. I still can't believe we took that guy out right next to her and she didn't even notice. That's pretty bad. Um, damn it, dude. Alright, well we gotta be getting close. Go ahead and take his ass out. Wow, we're just wrecking her. Oh, so close! Damn it! Damn it! So close yet so far. How far back are we? Oh my god! Wait, is this after we'd already been down here or no? See, now we gotta go back here so I can find out. Damn it to hell. That's what I get for not saving frequently. You know, the one time we stop saving frequently? It's alright. It's alright. Hello, buddy! <laughs> Jesus, dude. He didn't even get off the fucking ground. Kind of felt bad about that. Not really. Cake pan? Why the fuck did he have a cake pan on him? Uh, who cares? Who cares? Wait. Oh, I got turned around. I was like, how the fuck did I end up? Because I came up from here and somehow ended up in front of him. All right, fair enough. No big deal. All right, we got a few dozen people to kill now. Son of a bitch. Sorry about that, guys. I really need to get better at saving. Push the save button all the time. All the time, noob. And I go psycho buff. We're, we're moving a little bit quicker this time than we did last time, which is good, I guess. We know there's a dude in here, so what a surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, you just die. That's fine with me. All right, moving. All right. So we know... We know we want to go back this way. And... Did I loot this? I did not. Okay, wait, there's... I thought I saw the stairs there for a second. Let's, let's look around real quick. Aha! 
I'm more interested in, in finding the overseer's room than, I'm, than I am the other thing. Of course, we need to find the bobblehead, too, so... Um, there we go. He may have us. He got a shot off. Finish him. Noodle cup? That actually sounds tasty. Alright, well, I don't know where the other one is. Don't really care right now. Classroom terminal. Let's take a look at this real quick. Up top land heroes. There was once a little girl named Sue and a little boy named Roy. Sue and Roy grew up in a very special place called Ball 75. They learned to train and play there. How they trained. Sue and Roy were both growing up big and strong, and then one day Sue and Roy were asked to visit the Overseer. What's wrong, Overseer? asked Sue. Why are you crying, Overseer? said Roy. It's just awful, cried Overseer, wiping a hand. Have you children ever heard of Up Top Land? Sue and Roy blinked and shook their heads. What's up, Overseer? It's a terrible place, began the Overseer. And she told the children about Up Top Land. She told them about the people living there and how they weren't safe or strong like children of Vault 75. Monsters attacked them and evil bandits stole their food. And it was no place for little children to go up. No one at all. Those poor people. Why does nobody help them? That's just it, children. They need somebody big and strong to protect them. Who will help them? One day, children, you will. That's why you must do your best at classes and training every day so you can grow up big and strong. Wow. K8s. Okay. T12s. Okay. Okay. So basically they were turning children into monsters here, it seems like. Of some kind. They were training them to be, I guess, super... Oh, there's the Overseer's place. Okay. Made it. Alright. We're looking for his desk so we can get our car our thingy. Swipe it. I need to find the car. Jesus Christ. God dang it. Alright, we know where that thing's at. It's back this way, I think. Damn it to hell. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, we need to do another, need to do another save. Okay. Screeny. No, this way. Yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's this way. I do another save. Is this the glass room? Yes. I don't care if you guys notice me. It's not going to save your ass. Okay, there's another dude in here. Oh, this crit's going to hurt you, sweetheart. And you're just going to keep blasting me because I'm not going to get a single disarm on you. Thankfully, apparently... Oh, no! We didn't get the same item. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. Interesting. So you have a different chance to get a different legendary each time you fight a guy. Interesting. Alright, well, that's fine. I'm more interested in the legendary we just got than the other one. Um... Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything off them. Other chest piece now. Okay, we need to see what's on the other side of here. Go ahead and resave. Where is the? Oh, they're down below that way. Don't care. What? Oh god. Oh god. This one may kill me. That's not going to save you, sweetheart. There we go. Alright, there we go. Fuck me. Alright, pop our stim packs so we can start healing. There's the admin card. Safe Cracker's metal right arm. Increase the size of sweet spot while picking locks. I like that. That was actually pretty decent. Very interesting. I'm actually kind of happy that we had to go back through there because that, that kind of hooked us up. That kind of gave us a nice little advantage, all things considered. Alright, so now we know where the Overseer's base is. We're gonna come back over here real quick and kill these fucking ding bats real fast. No, I want the other one. That one. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you both falling over dead really easy. Like, that was very sweet of y'all. And very helpful. Taking the Psycho. You can keep the liquor bottle. Don't care. Uh, we'll take the Dandy Boy apples and the duct tape. I guess that's all that's here. Kind of weird, actually. Um, oh, wow. They were literally walking over the corpses of their of their buddies. Which I find a little amusing. Alright, resave. Is there anybody in here that needs a good stabbing or killing or both stabbing and killing? Because I'm here. 
I'm here if needed. I'm on call. All right, let's go. Wait, what's this over here? What's this? Where the fuck? I didn't kill these guys. I will help myself to that though. You, mail, I guess we do need the flip ladder. If it's on our list, we're taking it. All right, what do we have over here? We're saving. Does this take us somewhere? Just another way up. Researcher's terminal? All right, I am curious what happened here. Aerobic aptitude. Uh, station exists to measure increased aerobic ability and cardiovascular health of test subject as a treadmill operator adjust incline speed to reach and sustain target rate in the subject. Once target rate has been sustained for 60, se 60 seconds, gradually increase duress until peak heart rate has been reached or exceeded. Oh, wow. Uh, age 8. Holy fucking shit, dude. Cardiac duress. Death. Acceptable continued muscle strain, nausea, vomiting, loss of consciousness. Nina, won't believe it. I'm actually on the research team. We've always thought some grown-ups must stay in the vault to help the overseer run things, even if we never saw them. I was right. Not everyone has to go to the outside world. They said I'd be more good here and I can't be happier. I wish it was some way she could know I'm still here, still able to watch her. She'll graduate in two years. Maybe they'll put her on the research team too, if her scores are high enough. Ah, to be young. It's only been a few months since graduation, and already I feel so much more mature than the kids I'm monitoring every day. Rohit and James both still talk about taking over the vault, like they think nobody's listening. Robbie and Becca still sneak off to huff propellant. We see that too. They'll never make it onto research team like I did. I'm just glad I can still keep an eye on Nina. She's not going. She's not doing too great on her scores, though. She was never much of an academic like me. Her physical scores are among the best in the group, though. I'm sure she'll graduate to good team for up top. I just hope I can see her before she goes up top. Uh, Supervisor Bissell lost some papers from his clipboard this morning. He was pretty anxious about it. He'd spent most of the morning searching for them, then pulled me aside to get me looking for them while we went to a meeting with the overseer. He really doesn't want anyone to know they were missing. Turns out they got sucked into a vent. I could hear the pages flapping in there. There's no way I can get them unless I was to go downstairs, but I saw Rohit fish them out of the vent down there first. I'm going to tell Bizzle I couldn't find them. Uh-oh. The range is really getting run down. I've asked the overseer whether we can have some supplies brought in to help refurbish it, but was told we should work with what we've got. Then she reminded me it wasn't even my station. I don't think it would be a big deal to have her ask some of the up top graduates to bring supplies, but I guess they're really busy and there's always some risk involved in her going outside. Maybe she'll ask next year's graduation when she takes the new graduates through the surface door. Yeah, wait, was there something else there? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, yeah, I, I don't, I don't. I get a bad feeling nobody actually went upstairs. That's what I'm starting to get kind of a feel. That's a little fucked up. What is making that fucking noise? Okay, that was creeping me the fuck out, dude. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here. Let's let's head back up. We gotta go into the overseer room. I think we've done... We done did kill everybody now. Alright, we need to go across. That's right. Got a little sidetracked. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Zoom, zoom, zoom in your pom pom. All right, back through. Oh, oh, there's the overseer room. Swipe. What's that open? All right. Go ahead and pop another stem pack on the off chance that we bust in, bust into something nasty. Um. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. That was a 4.5x and a crit, and he's still standing? Jesus Christ, dude, that guy was tough. All right, Chief Scientist Terminal, let's see what this says. I'm really worried about this. Confidential, 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 Chief Scientist eyes only, violation, brr, 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 brr. Chief Scientist, welcome to Vault 75. As outlined in your confidential briefing packet, Vault 75 is part of a top secret military program. You have been selected from your professional credentials, experience, commitment to the improvement of the human genome. It is of the utmost importance that you follow the protocols herein. The mission of Vault 75, above all, is the refinement of human genetics. Your scientific staff will operate according to the research schedule set forth by Schlett, Braun, and Lam. You will be working with an overseer with a background as a military officer. Your overseer will be responsible for training and maintaining the subject population you will work, you'll be working with. It is important that you work with your overseer and maintain a healthy working relationship. Uh, represents an unprecedented opportunity to test our hypothesis that human genome can be improved at a rapid rate through the combination of selective breeding, hormonal treatments, genetic modification, and an accelerated generation cycle. 
The experiment objectives of all 75 are detailed in the handbooks which have been provided to you already. This experiment is intended as a carried over multiple generations. As such, there may be an unanticipated, unanticipated research opportunities that present themselves. Such diversions from provisional protocol are permitted at the discretion of chief scientists. Okay. Uh, because Vault 75 represents a long-term experiment in a closed environment, it will become important to replenish staff periodically. This shall be done by selective recruiting of outgoing subjects. We anticipate a certain percentage of residential population to exhibit high intellectual scores, but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for genomic harvesting. Harvesting? Oh, wow. These subjects may be at overseer chief scientist discretion offered an opportunity to join the staff. Those who refuse should be disposed of in the same manner as unqualified outgoing subjects. Uh-oh. Please note that all internally recruited staff should be kept strictly separate from general population for at least 15 years to prevent members of the general population recognizing former residents among staff. Only the most trusted and capable staff members should be admitted to the gen genomes laboratory. It is the responsibility of the chief scientist to very carefully choose those staff members and ensure they are sufficiently trained for their roles. Oh, Jesus Christ. Outgoing subjects around a aged 18 years with aggregate scoring of superior excellence across key physical, mental, social traits should be escorted to the genome's laboratory. Processing should be done on an individual basis with great care, remembering that successful subjects will likely be capable of overpowering staff. Reiterate to the subject that a brief round of vaccinations is necessary and avoid rousing any suspicions otherwise. Each subject should have a file for processing which indicates which specific organic material needs to be preserved for future testing. Be sure that these directions are strictly adhered to and that specimens are stored quickly. Uh-oh. Um, overall, harvest was exceptional this year. Lots of superior ratings in the physical category. Many of our vital organ initiatives are paying dividends. Pain thresholds have been a mostly improved problem for years now, and we're finally getting past issues like cardiac arrest under heavy duress. Wow. The genetic material we're gaining this year should help the next generation meet goals we thought were still a decade or more off. Some concerns about aggression levels. We've had a few cases of psychological breakdowns due to stress over the years, but incidence was much higher in this group. Going to recommend we synthesize some new tranquilizers just to stock up. Food supply remains best delivered method for generic population, but should be, concern but should be concerned about future with science staff too. Um, only need one recruit to scientific staff this year, with Washington joining the genetic team to help me out up here. Subject's physical score is very low, and he has consistently shown good problem solving and critical thinking. Overseer is concerned about his attachment to some of the younger members of the population. I'm not too worried. His psychological profile shows that he's very suggestible. We'll keep him on the observation deck long enough for those he had personal relationships with to graduate out of the population. That gives us some time to acclimate him to experimental protocols without conflict. We just need to keep him in the dark until then. Uh-oh. We had a very low disposal overhead thanks to the excellent harvest ratio this year, just 74% of the overall graduating class. Incinerations will be done within the week. Holy shit. Good first task for Washington before we begin the real work. Oh, dear God. So they were basically just literally executing children. Fuck me. Oh, my God. That's awful. All right, this is the overseer's office. And a plant is still sort of a stick. It's not really alive anymore, but... Yeah, you're fucked. Who gets Owie, I'm dead. Yeah, we're dead. And I didn't save. God dang it. I don't remember how far back I saved. I didn't expect to have uh, two god characters in there. How far back? Okay, not far back at all. Yeah, he's dead. I'll save my crit, though. Should have saved it last time. But that's all right. We learn. Safe. Take the blood pack. Thank you. Let's take a look and see what's in here. I can take this. Oh. So I have to get the exit from up here. That's fine. Okay. All right. Making sure we're healing up nicely. That's the gunner commander who I really care about killing. I don't care so much about the other one. Okay, got the commander. Jesus! Fucking die! Did she just clothesline my ass? Or try to? She just tried to clothesline my ass. That's not cool, bitch. That is not cool at all. All right, let's open this up. Uh, we have a safe here, which requires a master. Like, 
No way. God I dang this. it. Um. All right. Let's let's open the terminal. Uh, operations protocol manual. Residential admittance. Personal officers are responsible for admitting residents and obeying standard protocol for sanitization and scans. Research staff is to assist as needed. Adults age 75 and older will be isolated. Adults age 17 and older will be isolated and disposed of by the head of security. Children under the age of 17 are to be taken directly to the atrium area. As overseer, you're responsible for introducing the children to caretaker robots and their sleeping facilities. Research protocols will not begin until the second week of containment. It is recommended that you participate directly to routine story times evening. Has been built within the township of Malden, and all families with children aged 5 to 16 have been offered subsidized admittance. They should maximize the number of residents. In the event that it becomes necessary, it is preferable to allow potential subjects to remain with their families in the bulkhead area over allowing adults to accompany subjects to the atrium. These subjects will not be admitted to the general population. Some distress is expected in the early days of the intermittence. Please refer to vault text, okay, if guidance is needed. Uh, staff duties. Personal and security staff have been assigned to Vault 75. Research protocols would remain in their designated wing and isolated from making physical contact with residents except under special circumstances. New research personnel may be selected annually. Yeah, we know that part. Overseer directives. Uh, residents aged 18 and older must be removed from general population annually. Residents who have exhibited genetic promise are to be preserved for genome harvesting. Residents of average genetic promise but high intelligence and docility may be recruited to the research staff as overseer direction. All other residents to be removed must be culled. Research staff is responsible for cultivating embryo replacements to maintain consistent resident population. Vault 75 is to remain sealed until all clear is ordered. Wow. Beginning one year after initial containment, children over the age of 18 must be removed from the general population. They will be done annually. It is recommended that graduation be treated as an important tradition inside Vault 75. Appropriate ceremonies should be conceived of and performed by the overseer staff without going subjects to be removed one by one from the main living area. Once separated from the general population, subjects with aggregate rating of excellent and superior are to be escorted to the genomes laboratory for processing. Subjects with excellent and superior intelligence ratings, but not aggregate, will be offered positions as overseers of research staff. All other subjects should be disposed of as outlined in the confidential operations packet. Uh, overseer's log. New researcher. Worried about the new recruit in science, he's supposed to be on simple observation duties and closely monitoring until the subject he knows in population has been processed. I know we've done this many times before, but something about this one feels wrong. Not sure I should have let myself talk into it. We're having a capacity problem in the nursery. We are full as we can be in IBFs, but introducing more residents to the population is going to be problematic. I'd prefer to wait until the next turnover. We'll have to discuss the chief scientist. Fire in archives. Damn it all, some kind of wiring issue caused a fire in the archives. We lost some hardware that I'm told will be difficult to repair, if not impossible. Science lost a lot of historical research data, though I'm told we can get some junior staff started transcribing hard copies. Some of the locks failed once, the fire got bad, worrying, but turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Science staff nearby got in and stopped the blaze quickly. If the locks hadn't failed, then myself or the senior scientist would have to be would have had to manually open the doors. Okay. Uh, remote door control. Open. Okay, and the safe, disengage lock, thank you, okay, so what do we have in the safe, I'll take that the premium money, okay, so there's supposed to be a fucking, am I overweight, no, I'm not, there's supposed to be a comic in here, where's the comic? I was promised a comic, bitch. It's all the reason I came in. That's a m overseer safe key. Oh, okay, well, I guess that would have worked. Where's the... Ah! Thank God. I was about to say, it's the whole reason we came here! All right, good times. Good times. What do we have in here? Ball caps. I'm going to leave those two things. They don't seem to be worth taking. Nothing in the mirror. Okay. Uh, I do want to come back here real quick because I'm curious as what's in here. Lock's really strong. I thought I thought the key that we just picked up would allow me to open it. I guess I guess not. Um, reactor. Take this dude out. Definitely don't want to leave any of these dick bags alive. That just seems like it might come back and bite me in the ass. Yeah, and this is the other side. Okay. Well, I more or less know where I'm at now. I think. Don't we want to go up this way? 
damn it. Now I'm trying to figure, or remember, I think it was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This will take us out. Jesus, dude. So basically, they set up a school, took a bunch of kids, killed their parents, and then slowly started tweaking their genomes and then euthanizing them as time went on. That's just fucking disturbing. Just absolutely fucking disturbing. Uh, obviously, something happened as they're not still here, but... Oh my god, this game creeps me the fuck out sometimes. But hey, you know, we did get uh, another magazine. That brings us up to, uh, I think it's 30% now, right? Let's see, inventory, no, stat, special, perks. Yeah, we're at 6. So 6 times 5 is 30, so 4 more to go. One more to go. Anyways, guys, sorry the video was so long. I know some of you guys like that, some of you don't. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys liked it. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.